everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hot reload files in Golang or the Go programming language. Um, so this is, if you're coming from a Node.js background like I do, uh, you're probably familiar with Node.mon where you can set it up to watch a particular file. And if that project file changes, it'll just basically rerun or rerun whatever script you have. Um, this is particularly useful when it comes to testing APIs that you're writing in Go, but it's not specific to APIs. Uh, nonetheless, uh, it is it is convenient, and there are other ways to, to accomplish what we're going to accomplish. Um, this is just one of many. This one actually works for me, um, so maybe you'll find uh, value in it as well. Um, so what we're going to be installing is we're going to be installing a project called Reflex. Um, so Reflex would be a Go utility. Um, after you do Go get, it ends up in your uh, binary folder for Go in your Go path. Um, and then you can run a series of commands and that works for both services, which would be like long running processes like servers uh, or just simplistic commands. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to first install this. So I'm going to say go get and then this this project file. I'm going to paste it into my command line. All right, after it's done, uh, go ahead and go into your go path um, and then navigate into some project directory. Um, if you don't have one already, just go ahead and create one. So I'm going to call it, uh, I'm going to go ahead and make a new directory called test. I'm going to navigate into it. I'm going to create a, a Go file. I'm going to call it main.go. And this is the, going to be the project file that we watch for changes and, and reload our application every time a change happens. Um, so let's go ahead and add some code first. So I'm going to open it up in my editor of choice. I'm going to be using Atom by GitHub. doesn't really matter what you use as long as you can develop uh, Go applications. So I'm going to open up main.go. I'm going to say package main. I'm going to say function main. And then I'm just going to say FMT print line. I'm going to say hello world. And we're just going to start with that. And we're going to we're going to improvise as we go along. Uh, but this is just really an example of show you that, to show you how to hot reload uh, your application files. So I'm going to go back to my terminal. And I'm going to say first of all, I'm going to check to make sure reflex is in my path. So I'm going to say reflex. And it's not. So what we can do is we can add it to our path. It's going to be a little different for every operating system that you use, especially for Windows. But I'm going to say export. And I'm going to say path equals uh, the already existing path. Then I'm going to say go path. And note that there is a colon in there. And I'm going to say bin. And that'll add my, my binary directory that's in my go path to my actual path. And this is just a temporary for that session. Um, so if you wanted to add it permanently, um, you could edit your profile or your bash RC file, uh, whatever, whatever makes sense for you. Uh, but it should be in my path now. Um, so what I want to do is first, I want to say reflex. And then I'm going to provide a regular expression on what files to use in my configuration. So I'm going to say hyphen R. I'm going to say uh, uh, slash period go dollar sign. So this is going to be my regular expression. I'm, I'm basically saying look for all files with the go extension. I'm going to skip over any reflex parameters um, using hyphen hyphen. I'm going to say sh for shell. I'm going to say hyphen c for configuration. And the configuration says what exactly is going to happen when uh, we are live reloading. Um, so I'm going to say go run. It already has the files that I found uh, through the regular expression. So I'm going to say go run. Uh, I'm going to use asterisk go. I could easily say main.go if I wanted to say a specific file. So let's go ahead and say main.go. And I'm going to close it off with my quotes. I'm going to run it. So it is running. Um, it, it didn't print out hello world, uh, which is fine. So what I can do is I can actually make a change. I'm just going to say hello uh, Nick and save it. I'm going to go back to my terminal. And as you can say, it says hello Nick now. Uh, I'm going to change it back to hello world. And I'm going to I'm going to go back to my terminal. And it is uh, hello world now. Now, um, it's probably hard to visualize the convenience of this. But if you're making an application, a web application, um, so a web service, and you are making changes to your endpoints, it, it becomes kind of a hassle to, to start and stop your application. It's it's more of a, I guess you could say, first world problem. Um, but it, it is an inconvenience. So this definitely makes life a little easier. Now, had this been an actual web application, the command that I showed you above uh, wouldn't necessarily work because this is for, uh, this expects the application to terminate after it runs and then it just waits for it to run, uh, to save again. Um, so we do have to make some changes. Um, so if, I, if this was a, a long running process, 
Um, per the documentation, which uh, is, is outlined here, uh, we do we do have to make some changes. So we can say reflex hyphen R. Uh, we're going to provide the Go files again. This time around, I'm going to say hyphen S. Hyphen S is for service, um, and this this is a, a reflex command. I'm going to say hyphen hyphen again, sh, then hyphen c for configuration. I'm going to say go run main.go. Um, now it's starting it as a service, so it's going to keep it it's going to keep it open. Um, and then if I make a change, it's just going to it's going to stop the service and it's going to start it over again. So let's go ahead and try it. And from this perspective, it doesn't it doesn't really look like much. It doesn't it's not really any different from uh, the previous example that we ran, except for when you actually run an application that does not terminate after you run it, uh, this is where you will need to use the hyphen S. Um, so just remember, um, a long running process like a, like a web server, hyphen S, um, otherwise uh, you, you can just exclude it. And again, this is reflex. Um, it's, it's kind of like Nodemon for, for Node.js. Um, it, it does hot reload and watch your project files. So this is a very convenient tool as part of your application development uh, flow.